Hello everyone and welcome to another Royal Reading. I'm very late today, I know. Uh, there's been a lot going on in my little world today and uh, also a lot of load shedding today. Very, very difficult to get all the things done that we need to get done in the time that we have. And of course, we have backups and fixes and things that uh, keep us lurching along, basically. But sometimes they go wrong. And today was one of those days when they went wrong. Anyway, I'm here. We are in the middle of load shedding. I have my ring light on, which uh, leaves unfortunate light um, kind of imprints on the cards. Uh, but anyway, I'll do my best uh, not to make it all too dazzling for you. I'm using the regular Rider weight today. And as I was going about my business and thinking what I should read on today, uh, I thought it's time for a bit of a serious reading. Something that's burbling away in the background. And this is this whole movement towards republicanism. And uh, Australia is in the news at the moment, not um, electing to uh, print King Charles on new currency, instead doing more um, local stuff, more um, in keeping with Australia's own culture and heritage and history and all of that. Uh, fair play, uh, nothing wrong with that. But uh, it's, it's, it's bubbling away. Uh, burbling was the wrong word bubbling away <laughs> in the background. Uh, this notion that um, the crown as head of state in various countries is no longer really um, desired. And um, so we're going to have a look using just a regular rider weight. Going to do a bit of a serious reading. We're going to see what's going on. We're going to see how important the late queen was in keeping the status quo. Uh, we're going to see how people feel about the king. The three countries I'm really looking at, Canada, New Zealand, Australia. Australia is the one in the news, but those are the three that really um, are speaking to me right now in this reading, and I don't mean any disrespect to other countries that might be in a similar situation. I know in the Caribbean they're having similar conversations. These are the three countries that I'm going to be looking at today. Just them, collectively and then individually. How do they feel about Charles as king? Um... What influence, and there he showed up, what influence do the Harkles have on all of this? Because um, po uh, polls have been taken and it, they do seem to be um, diminishing the, the value of the crown in some of these countries. Um, uh, so, so there's that. And then also in the larger scheme of things, the Commonwealth, a bit of a different question. But I'm going to look at that as well. Then I'm going to look at each country individually. I'm going to look at um, Canada, New Zealand, Australia. And then I'm going to ask what kind of um, what kind of world is William going to uh, step into uh, when he is crowned in due course? Um, if all goes, <coughs> excuse me, if all goes according to plan. And I didn't really think about how I was going to lay this reading out. Ha! Huh. This is going to be tricky, so we'll do it a little bit differently. That's fine. I know what uh, the questions are. Universe knows what the questions are. And uh, so we'll figure it. Odd looking reading, but very specific questions, all written down, all thought about long and hard, as I say, as I was going about my business today. Um, so a serious reading, and let's remind you, uh, it's a tarot reading, of course, for entertainment purposes, even though it is a serious reading today. And um, all my opinion, all speculation. And uh, I read on the royals for um, archetypal purposes. And I can see you cannot see that top card. Um, and there is, of course, a disclaimer in the box below. Very weird looking reading. But let's see what it tells us. Um, a very interesting card that's come out is the underlying energy of this reading. And that's the Knight of Cups. That's Prince William. He's shown up as very relevant in this. And he's the one that we're going to be finding out about last, but not least. And um, it's it's the card of wooing the Knight of Cups. And I apologise for this shambolic looking reading with the big plastic thing that tells me uh, that blocks my view. Uh, but never mind. Um, it's about wooing. It's uh, There is going to be, I think, a big effort 
put into going to these countries after the coronation and trying to keep them in the fold, so to speak, and say, we are, you belong to us, we can still offer you stuff, we love you, your people love us, um, that kind of thing, that's the Knight of Cups. Uh, William might be the one that's sent out uh, more than Charles um, to go and do that wooing. And uh, stay with us, don't go, don't go. Um, it's really, it's, it's important that you stay, it's worth your while. That is the, the, the suitor, the Knight of Cups. So that's a very interesting energy. This situation, this card that's been kind of decapitated at the top here, the situation is, oof, Losing control, two of pentacles in reverse is something that goes out of alignment, out of balance. Drop the ball. And of course, um, you see stormy seas in the background there of this uh, person who's juggling, who's trying to keep all, all the things in the air and, and try and keep everything going and um, um, prioritize seeing and make sure that they've got enough time and effort and energy for everything. When the card is in reverse, you just don't have enough time and energy and effort for everything. You get overwhelmed, you drop the ball, things go out of balance. And that's where we are now. That's a situation that things are coming apart a bit. Um, and so it takes me to the very important next question. How important was the late queen in keeping this all together and keeping everyone in line, basically, because of their um, devotion to her, the respect for her, the regard for her, um, her own personality, her own effort, her own, you know, the longevity of her reign, all of those kinds of things, the importance to these various countries. How important was she in holding this all together? Yeah, there's the sword holding the sword aloft with the crown on it, very strong. Um, held in very high regard, that ace of swords. Aces are new starts. Um, but in the sense of that was her reign. Um, she, she, she worked very hard. The Commonwealth was her thing. I'm not talking about Commonwealth precisely in this reading. I'm talking about countries having the, the, um, the, the, the monarch as the head of state. Uh, this is different, of course, um, but it very much, they saw her as very fair, as very honest, as very wise, as very powerful, very strong. Um, a very interesting card, um, that energy that's coming through, through from that ace of sword. It's not a card of love as such, of they thought that she was such a, um, you know, kind of a cuddly person. Um, although in later life she did get, come across a bit like that with the Paddington thing and all the rest of it. Um, she softened and that's quite a Taurus thing actually um, even though we've got an air sign energy and she was of course officially an air sign her Gemini birthday but she was a Taurus and Taurus can um, uh, can be quite um, heavy energy and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way at all. Um, she, she mellowed. She mellowed in later years. But that's a very uh, commanding energy. Very commanding energy. So yeah, she was. A, it, 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 she held them. She held them in her hand in a very commanding and a very powerful way. Very interesting card. That very, a whole different dynamic with this fella here. Uh, it's going to be wooing and ingratiating and charming and all that kind of stuff. A different world we live in. Completely different world where you popularity is the thing. And you have to appeal to people and, and kind of um, ingratiate yourself now with people. Uh, the late queen didn't have to do that. She had authority by virtue of the fact that she wore that crown, that she was that crown. She embodied that institution. Charles... How are they going to feel about Charles? How do they feel about Charles collectively? Oof. Oh dear. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Nah. You see, it's uh, the house of cards falling down with Charles. Um, really is. And um, it's quite sad, really. Because the Ten of Pentacles upright is the royal family, is that longevity, is that history, that status, that role that the royal family plays in sort of preserving tradition, passing it along through the generations, but it's in reverse. They don't think that um, he is really going to keep that that story going. Um, he's going to keep it passing on. 
um, it, it's really they, they feel that it's going to unravel on his watch and uh, I feel that too I'm sure many of you watching feel it I'm sure he feels it that this is a problem um, does he want to be the one who really uh, and when you look back in history oh well that's when it all went went south basically um, but that is it ten of pentacles in reverse there you know it's it's every man for himself ten of pentacles in reverse you don't belong in that institution anymore in that tradition and that lineage anymore it's a it's a dangerous card for the royal family what influence are harry and Meghan having on this decline and it does look like a decline in this reading what influence are they having on it all yeah the emperor in reverse completely undermining the royal family the emperor is the royal family and of course it was once an empire it isn't anymore uh, but there it is the emperor that is the commanding the uh, commanding energy the ruler the leader the strategizer the planner the organizer the doer um, a very very powerful energy but it's been completely undermined it's been turned on its head it's in the reverse it's lost its authority the crown has lost its authority um, because of them this is an energy reading of course tarot reading this is my opinion but they are doing damage according to these cards and according to the energy that I am picking up from these cards they're doing very serious damage to the king the emperor they are doing damage personal damage to the king also to the institution but they are damaging charles very very much what impact are they having on the commonwealth people are thinking taking stock seven of pentacles they are having a big think about it do they want in or out do they want to stay do they want to go um, that's their harvest that's the time that they have spent in the commonwealth um and i don't know if it's literally a seven if it's 70 years um, um, um but it's 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 a looking at it uh okay we've got this out of it uh it's been beneficial uh to us to this extent the the commonwealth but uh should we stay should we go thinking it's not a negative card but it is a taking stock card. It's literally what the Seven of Pentacles means. And uh, possibly it's time to uh, call it quits. Decision hasn't been made yet for most of these countries. Um, there are benefits to belonging to the Commonwealth. So they're obviously um, analysing. And I, I almost get the sense that quite a few countries are doing analyses. They've got committees and stuff and thinking about it. Should we stay? Should we go? Um, so that's interesting. Um, each country individually. What's going to be going on? This is during the reign of King Charles. Um, what kind of decisions are they going to be making? Canada first. No, no particular order. It was just a woof woof. <laughs> that's the devil. Wow. Wow. Uh, it's not the kind of energy one would normally associate with Canada. Devil. But that's um, the devil is, is chained to something. The devil is not um, not breaking free from something from something that's a bit of a habit. Um, they might see that um, their association with the crown is toxic. They might acknowledge that, or they might feel that. I'm I'm not. This is not judgment. This is not me putting my own opinion onto personal feelings about the crown or anything like that. I have. I don't have any any stake in this at all uh, my country has long been a republic and um, quite honestly um, given who's in charge of my country right now i would quite like to have charles <laughs> um, uh, come and uh, save us from our current crop of uh, dare i say it criminals who are in charge that's just my opinion but anyway there is there is a, 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 a sense that this is they've chained to something that is toxic something that is harmful um and um it, it's a capricorn card as well so so let's just remind you the devil isn't always just a terrible thing it's a capricorn card and capricorn cards are of course about institutions structures um all those kinds of things businesses um so it, 
it, it makes sense at some level to be in with, uh, with, with the boss, with, uh, with the big guy, basically. But yeah, there's a price to pay. I think Canadians feel that there is some kind of price that they are paying for that. That's what's coming off that card. Hmm. Comments, please. Uh, New Zealand. New Zealand going through its own bit of a shake-up right now. Um, hmm. uh, yeah, okay. Four of Pentacles in reverse, letting go. Letting go. Um, that could be literally the crown losing control um, of whatever it is still in control of. Um, I'm trying not to, to be offensive in this reading and offend all of you, my dear, uh, and much valued subscribers and viewers uh, who come from these countries. Uh, but yeah, it, it's, it's letting go, letting go of something, something that was very uh, much about permanence. And uh, my ring light's about to pack up now. You can see it's starting to flicker. It needs to be charged. Huh. Uh, with what, I ask you. Um, but anyway, um, uh, is something that was part of a, of a very stable, um, very important to be seen to be associated with that. Um, you can see the two different cities in the background of that Four of Pentacles. It was an important association. It somehow brought some degree of safety um, to the country. But no, don't need it anymore. Can let go of it. We're on our. We're, we're, we're good on our own. It's not a major arcana. I don't think there's going to be some huge... Um, decision uh, but it's a sense of well do we need that no not really uh, Australia Australia as I say is the one that's really in the news at the moment so last but not least Fluffy has come to um, lodge some sort of complaint not quite sure what's about had food um, possibly is because I have to open the front door to let her out in the front garden but anyway we'll get there um, Australia drum roll Ooh, Australia is the one who's going to leap the leap. Eight of swords in reverse. Freeing themselves out of a bind. Uh, it looks like it could be the one to go uh, with this eight of swords in reverse. There's a sense of being trapped, a sense of being stuck. Um, and time to find freedom. Australia finding their freedom. Finding freebies. It's on the cards. It's literally on the cards. But we're sitting next to our knight here. He might have to go out there and woo them and try and lure them back in. But uh, yeah, these aren't good cards. These aren't good cards. If you're if you're a, a, a somebody who's in the uh, Buckingham Palace, Clarence House, wherever, and you're strategizing and you're looking at things, and by some weird chance you look at a tarot reading on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> you think, oh no, uh, it's all fall down, all fall down. Uh, outcome for Prince William, for our Knight of Cups. Um, what kind of a world is he going to be walking into uh, if all goes according to plan, he one day is crowned king? Uh, what's he going to be king of? Wow, that's a big card. That's a huge card. I hope you can see it properly. We just cover that four of uh, pentacles a bit there. Sorry that I'm um, struggling to squish this in. My little, um, I'm having a weird day. The ring light's packing up. The um, the tripod that the camera sits on has gone all wonky today. So I had to um, lose a lot of my space. But it's just one of those days. I, I would blame Mercury, but I can't really. Um, but anyway, I'm babbling. We have the Hierophant. We have the Hierophant who is showing up here. Massive card, massive card for for our Knight of Cups. That is the royal family. That is the institution. That is the establishment. That is the status quo. Things are wobbling here. They are wobbling, but they don't go. Not while the hierophants around. Not while the hierophants around. Wow, just amazing. That is an absolutely amazing card. Emperor being undermined by the Harkles. Commonwealth all having to think. There's a lot of having to think energy here, really. Um, people don't really don't really get Charles as king. Don't really think he um, 
he represents what the crown represents with that ten of pentacles in reverse the queen so powerful i mean the the energy that's coming off that card the light that's coming off that card it's it's astounding i keep being drawn to it and i keep having to force myself back um she really held it all together she ruled over it in a very clear and a very powerful way canada mm, stuck stuck with the devil better the devil you know huh than uh or should I say, eh? Then uh, what uh, what might be lurking in the wings if you ditch ditch the royal family? What might you get instead? New Zealand, huh? We 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 are not so clingy about our our relationship with the royal family anymore. We 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 we're okay on our own. Australia uh, definitely could make a break for freedom there with that Ace of Swords in reverse. But who's going to come galloping along with his cup in hand? Um, that is just such a huge card to come out as the outcome of this reading. It's extraordinary. It tells me that we're going through a wonky time. And I was having a long conversation with a young friend of mine today. He's going through some troubles. And uh, I was saying, um, sometimes, sometimes you go through great darkness and then comes the light. And I think we're going through great darkness and comes the light. I hope so. I hope so. I hope that this reading was interesting to you. Thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow.